so the holidays are over we're coming up on 2023 and let's talk about books hi hello and welcome back to my channel my name is alex and today we're going to talk about the books that i might read in january if you're new here the maybe series is a list of books that i compile towards the end of the month that i'm interested in reading in the upcoming month um this is not like an official TBR or anything like that. I usually read um, between two and four books a month, so this list is kind of long. Just make up a list of what I feel like reading for the upcoming month, and then I pick my books off that list accordingly. I put a picture of it here, and then I kind of just tell you a little bit about what it's going to be about, and if I can remember, and um, why I decided to add it to the list. Um, pretty short, pretty simple, and to the point, so let's not wait around any longer. Let's get into it. So, the first book on my list is Sworn to Silence by Linda Castillo. I don't know, I was kind of just like cruising through my Pinterest, Tubi Reds, or some other book list that I have put aside, and this one popped up, and it's about a woman that grew up in um, Amish town, and like survive some type of serial killer issue and then she decides to leave the Amish and she becomes a police detective for the like neighboring town so that's like a little bit of the backstory and then she comes back to the Amish community to help solve a murder so this book kind of caught my eye because it does kind of have this serial killer vibe to it but it also has kind of this cultish vibe to it which y'all know me in cults like I know some people don't consider the Amish a cult, but um, I definitely would put it in that category. So this book does sound super interesting. The biggest drawback to this book is that it's part of a series. Um, and it's not a small series. It is a rabbit hole of a series. It's got like 15 books in it. It's massive. So I don't really know if I want to dive into this just because I know that I'm not going to be able to finish that series anytime soon. And if you watched last week's episode, one of my goals this year in 2023 is to close out some of my series. And there's no way that this one is going to get closed out anytime soon. So this is just adding like another massive chunk into that goal. Do you know what I mean? So yes, this sounds super interesting. I might read it and see if I like it before I commit to adding the series to my list, but it does sound super interesting, but that's my biggest drawback at this point. The next book on my list is The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. Okay, I absolutely adore Christina Henry. She wrote Alice, um, which is like a very dark fantasy retelling of Alice in Wonderland, and it was spectacular. I have not finished that series yet. This is another, this is a standalone actually, which is the reason why I was like, okay, I can add it to the list. It's not a series, it's a standalone. And it's a dark fantasy retelling of Red Riding Hood. So, I mean, I know I love Christina Henry's writing. I know this is gonna be a good book. So I added it to the list and um, I'm actually super excited about this one. So hopefully I have time in my schedule to read it. The next book on my list is The Last Days of Jack Sparks by uh, Jason Arnup. This was on the October Maybes. And um, I ended up passing on it because I didn't really know how horror-ish it was going to be. And um, I only read horror in October. But part of my goal for 2023 is to like read more horror books. And this one was on my horror list and I really wanted to read it. And so I'm kicking it back into the January maybes and we will see if I have time in my lineup in January to get it in. But basically this guy, um, Jack Sparks is one of those people, uh, like a debunker. He goes and visits these communities where they think they have poltergeists or, you know, paranormal happenings and he basically proves them wrong. And then all of a sudden he goes missing after he leaked a video um, of an exorcism that he attended. So it's kind of got this paranormal vibe to it. Um, yeah, it was on the October maybes and I decided to bump it into January to see, um, see if I liked it. 
At this point, when I was making the maybes, I really just couldn't figure out what I wanted to read for January. Like, could not figure out the vibe I was going for for January. Typically, my winter aesthetic reading passes into January, but it's actually like seasonably warm and I'm kind of like not in the mood all of a sudden to read that kind of stuff. And I kind of overdid it a little bit in December reading winter aesthetic stuff, so I don't know. And the more I dug into my serial killer thrillers and things like that, I just found myself not being very excited about thrillers. And I just, I didn't really know where I wanted to go for January. Kind of just went off on it, on a tangent, I guess, of books. So, this next one is called The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. Um, okay, so... When I was reading the description of this book, it was very much giving fatal attraction, except that the husband and the girl that he gets on the side team up to kill the wife. The reviews were very good, and it kind of seemed like it was going to have this sort of um, spicy element to it, but also this thriller element to it. Um, I don't know. It sounds really interesting and it kind of had this twist to the um, description that got me very interested. So, yeah. Okay, and then I wanted to read a book where the villain gets the girl. Well, okay, Katie Roberts' series, Wicked Villains, is perfect for this category. So we're going to put Learn My Lesson up on the Maybes list again. Learn My Lesson has been in the Maybe series multiple times, and I still have not read it. A couple months ago, I started reading the shorts that she wrote for the Wicked Villain series. I think I have one more short left before Learn My Lesson. It's not imperative that I read that short, but um, I might. I really would like to get further into this series to see if I really like it enough to keep going with it. So... Hopefully I have time in the lineup for this one because at this point it's like I keep talking about it and I feel like I just need to read it. Like I need to, <laughs> I need to get it out of my system because obviously I want to read it. So yeah. So along that line of um, the villain gets the girl or enemies to lover kind of thing, I started to deep dive into this category and let me tell you. These are, like, when you say you want an enemies to lover or you want a villain gets the girl, they're all series. There are very little standalone books that I could find that were highly recommended. So this took a minute for me to deep dive into. Like, I was committed to finding something that had decent reviews that was a standalone book. This is what I came up with. The Kiss Thief by L.J. Shin. Now... I don't know how this sounds, okay? It sounds almost like a love triangle gone wrong. Like the girl is married off to her father's enemy because he's like blackmailing him or something. But then there's this other guy in there that um, starts fighting for her. I don't know. It sounds really interesting. It sounds a little like fantasy-ish, which is um, admittedly not my favorite category to read, but it sounded accessible enough that maybe I would even like it. So this one went on. I have no idea if I'll actually have time to read this. It did sound interesting. I don't know anything about this author, um, but you know, it's on the list. I don't have to commit to it, but here it is. Along this line too, then I just started getting into spicy reads because I haven't read anything really good that has been spicy in a minute. Like it's been a while since I've read like a really good spicy book. So this one came to my attention. Show Me Sir by Sunny DeSoto. It is a standalone book. This was another thing that I just really don't want to get into any more series because I'm really trying to close out some of my series. So I'm really only looking for standalone books at this point or books in a series that I've already started. So this is a standalone. Um, you could tell by the cover. It looks kind of like a BDSM book and it actually sounds pretty good. 
I'm pretty sure the main female character is like a CEO, career-driven woman, and she meets a guy that, you know, takes her down a peg or two. It um, has a very typical storyline, I would say, for that kind of book. So it went on the list. I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to find this book anywhere um, where I can read it for free, but uh, here we are. Here it is, and we'll see if I have time in the lineup for it. Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, there is a spot on my um, reading list for my book club book. And we'll just kind of see how that shakes out for this month. I just, I don't really know what I feel like reading for January. And these kind of months are the months that are the hardest for me because I feel like I just never know how things are going to end up. I... I'll venture into unknown waters and categories and sometimes the payoff is good and sometimes I'm just disappointed. So hopefully I'm not disappointed this month in January. Hopefully I get some really good books in the lineup and yeah, I'm just, I'm trusting that it's all going to work out. Um, make sure you hit all the buttons down below so you know when I'm posting. I post every week and all we do is talk about books on this channel so... Yeah, if you like listening to people talk about books, here I am every week talking about them. So that's all I have for you guys today, and I will see you next time. Bye!